Welcome, what are we looking at today? We are looking at Construction Contracting Operations Management Level 6 and we're looking at Unit 3. Unit 3, Chair Meetings and Take Decisions in Construction Contracting Operations Management. Uh, it has a credit value of 8 which makes it quite a small unit but an important unit and it's being assessed in the MVQ at a level 6. Uh, in summary, what's the unit about? This unit is about chairing meetings and analysing information, making decisions based on the conclusions, and from an analysis of the inf from an analysis of the information gained at the meetings. As an MVQ candidate, you'll be expected to evidence or gain an understanding and then evidence of how you circulate appropriate information before the meeting and ensure that those attending the meeting agree to the meeting objectives. Also, you'll be need to expect it, you'll be expected to evidence or gain the ability to allocate time for discussions and keep within the meeting agenda and times and ensure that contributions are useful, clearly summarized at appropriate times confirm decisions and recommendations and seek and implement feedback to improve future meetings. It's all about meeting management. You'll be expected to evidence or gain the ability to use suitable methods to select and analyse information based on identified objectives and then develop clear objective conclusions and you will need to present evidence of your results and record the work that led to your decisions that enabled senior stakeholders and decision makers to move your project forward. So not a lot of evidence requirements in this unit, meeting minutes, copy of agendas and emails to third parties. Being able to chair meetings and hold meetings as a construction manager is an essential skill, a necessary skill, and as a management tool can vastly affect the progress of a, pro of a project. So the learning outcomes, what are the learning outcomes in this unit? Number one, be able to chair meetings. Two, understand how to chair meetings. Three, be able to analyse information for decision makers. And four, understand how to analyse information for decision makers. If you're new to the subject of chairing meetings and leading meetings, I would suggest that you consider the best meeting you've ever been to. Did you receive advance warning of the meeting? Was the meeting confirmed to you the day before? Were you given um, any information regarding the meeting like meeting minutes or asked to produce any information at that meeting in advance of the meeting? Were you prepared? Uh, were you advised? Was the, did the meeting take place on time? Um, did it stick to the agenda? Uh, did it finish on time? If it does, then the uh, people who are being attending the meeting, then they are being respectful. They are being respected, and those chairing and leading the meetings are being respectful. If the meeting ran over, got sidetracked, and got ambushed, then the other members of the uh, meeting obviously are not being respected, and their time is being abused. These are the sort of concepts we look at when it comes to chairing meeting. So, what have I suggested? Um, tip of the day when considering this meeting considering this unit. Use one or two stories on the important meeting or meetings that can be told and followed through the assessment criteria in the learning outcomes of this unit if you're in the MVQ programme. So first commence by reviewing all the assessment criteria and see if a meeting or meetings come to mind which fit the bill. Plan your answers by putting in bullet points in each assessment criteria 
following the audio guidance uh, for the assessment criteria which requires written responses. Source and print off, print off the meeting minutes, emails, evidences, correspondence etc and place them in your evidence file. Write up your responses and then reference your evidence to the learning outcomes where product evidences are required. That's if you're on the MVQ program. If you are on the MVQ program and you still need further advice, let me have a look. This is unit number three. Unit number three. Take advice of take advantage of our audio podcasts. And if you're learning about cherry meetings, take the advantage of listening to our audio podcasts. In those podcasts, we've gone through all of the learning outcomes and the assessment criteria and written guidance for all of the assessment criteria. These are the scripts for the podcast. Let me just pick one at random. Explain how to give. This is, um, let me see, learning outcome number 2.8. Explain how to give clear, accurate and concise information about decisions and recommendations to those who need it. <coughs> Excuse me. First of all, I explain that explain means spell out, give a reason, justify. The guidance in the podcast will go as follows. Do you within 24 hours ensure that all attendees and those unable to attend are sent a copy of the meeting minutes and recorded action points for reference purposes? As a way of checking that which was agreed has been re correctly recorded and as a point of making agreed attendees who have to complete action points accountable and time bound. That is why they are given a date by which to complete the assigned and agreed action, point, action points. Do you do this? Well, if you don't, you now know the reason what you ought to do and the reasons why you, should, why you ought to do it and please say why. So that's just one um, of the um, learning outcomes, the assessment criteria, that's just a one point at random. We go through all of the learning outcomes and all of the assessment criteria so that we lead our candidates through their NVQs comprehensively. And for those who are learning to be managers, um, I would encourage you to use the podcast guidance as learning material because it will bring you up to the correct management standard very quickly. I trust you have found this um, introduction to Unit 3, Chair Meetings and Take Decisions in Construction Contracting Operations Management on the Constructing Contracting Opera Operations Management Level 6 NVQ Introduction Guidance helpful. Uh, if so, um, and if you want to progress further, please be in touch. We'd love to do your NVQ with you and provide the guidance and help help and guidance that is necessary for you to achieve in a timely fashion.